Inside this box is the future of 3D printed footwear. I actually scanned my foot, the custom designed shoe for me, and now I have my own custom piece of designer footwear. And I'm not talking about a pair of shoes from some small designer brand you've never heard of. I'm talking about Heron Preston in collaboration with Zellerfeld. You may have already heard of Zellerfeld. They did those 3D printed boots for the artist formerly known as Kanye West, and they've been working with brands like Heron Preston for the last couple years. And finally, after a year of waiting, because I knew these shoes were gonna release, I just wasn't able to buy them until recently, I finally have a pair in hand, and I'm so excited to check them out. I mean, you guys know, recently I've been obsessed with 3D printing. In fact, at this point, I have six 3D printers. I haven't even showed you guys all of them yet because I'm sort of embarrassed that I've been spending that much money on 3D printers. But I feel like it's a healthy obsession because I'm creating content that I love and also designing shoes in a way that not many people have done it before, except for people like Zellerfeld, which is doing it professionally and in some of the most insane ways I can even imagine. And so because of that, I am very, very excited to check out this pair of shoes. So the way this process worked, this is actually not a sponsor video whatsoever. I spent the full price on this pair of shoes. I applied to be in the beta program for the Zellerfeld uh, Heron Preston Zero One. They allowed me to enter the beta program. I scanned my foot, I paid the price, and now about three or four weeks later, I finally have my own custom 3D printed pair of designer shoes, which is absolutely insane. And I've got to say the packaging for this pair of shoes is really, really sick. So inside the outer box, you've got these foam pieces on the corner to keep this uh, bright orange inner box safe, keep it from getting jostled around. So let me pull off these little, uh, I guess they're foam, I was gonna call them rubber, but they're foam pieces. And then pull out the Heron Preston box inside without opening it, because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Now I have no idea what these look like in person. I've never seen any real pictures of these shoes. I've only ever seen the 3D renderings of these shoes. And I figured it would be really fun to actually get my real live first impressions of these shoes, not look at them, uh, not even try them on. In fact, I'm gonna do a segment later on the try-on deck, as I like to call it. Trying on this pair of shoes, finding out if it's actually comfortable, if it's wearable, and all that sort of good stuff. But yeah, I've gotta be honest, I'm incredibly excited for this. I really have been waiting for like three weeks for this pair of shoes, and that's purely because, one, it was shipping from Europe, but two, because it takes days to 3D print pairs of shoes. If you guys have seen any of my previous 3D printer videos, you know that for me at least, it takes about five days to print one pair of shoes, at least in certain materials. So the fact that this took three weeks is actually pretty impressive. <laughs> Impressive. I mean, I've got to say the packaging on this pair of shoes feels incredibly premium. Now, it is a $350 pair of shoes. Again, it is a designer pair of shoes, and designer shoes usually come with that sort of price point. And also, it's a 3D printed pair of shoes, so it's a brand new technology. So the pricing doesn't surprise me, but I do understand that $350 is not for everyone when it comes to buying a pair of shoes. So I totally get that, but I do have to say that the packaging itself does not disappoint even for that price point. I mean, it's got some nice heft to it. So the top half of the box comes in this bright orange cardboard. You've got Heron Preston x Zellerfeld, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, printed on the top of the box as well as the Zellerfeld logo debossed into the cardboard itself. On the sides of the box, it looks like you've got some specs. It says, designed by Heron Preston, Brooklyn NY, printed by Zellerfeld in Hamburg, Germany. I believe they've got some crazy facility out there. And then this is the model Heron 01 version 0 0.8 beta. So the reason I think that I wasn't able to just buy the shoe off of a website was because this shoe is still technically in beta. So I had to apply for the beta program and then actually scan my foot using the app, which I'll throw up some footage of that. Um, but all around, it's a pretty cool process and I can't wait for shoes like this to become much more mainstream. And that's one of the reasons I want to sort of feature this shoe on the channel, not just because I'm obsessed with 3D printing, but also because I feel like it's a really great future for footwear. But yeah, I guess we've covered pretty much the entire box. Why don't we lift off the lid and see what this pair of shoes actually looks like? I'm so stoked. <laughs> okay, so first thing, inside the box, I've got a little handmade note that says, Dear Seth, we made a video for you. And then it's a QR code, so I'll actually scan that. Let's check out the video. I don't know where my phone is actually. No, really, where is it? That's just not good. Finally found it. Okay, let's check it out. Let me screen cap this too, because I want to be able to uh, show you guys this video. I'm Cornelius, I'm the CEO of Zellerfeld, and I would love to tell you a bit more about the shoes and also about the bracelet that you just received. Oh cool, there's a bracelet in here too. I think when you look around the shoe that you will spot some like different areas with different densities and, and, and structures. So for example, the bottom outsole is much denser and stiffer compared to the upper. We want to offer you updates, much like with an app or a Tesla, which gets better over time. So whenever there's a new feature for your model, we will let you know and you can refresh your pair by sending back your old shoes, which we will recycle to get an updated pair to you. So based on that video, I don't know if I show the entire video or not, they, they went through a lot of things. First of all, they're experimenting with a lot of different printing techniques and printing styles, which they're gonna incorporate into future models. But the biggest thing for me, at least, is that buying this shoe is not just buying this particular shoe. You can actually return it, they recycle the materials, and send you a new version of the shoe in the future, because apparently this is a beta, so um, they're trying to figure out the best way to 3D print pairs of shoes. And because the technology used to 3D print this pair of shoes is so incredible, and you can do it so quickly, it actually allows them to very 
very easily create new versions of these shoes based on feedback, which I think is super cool. They did provide this bracelet right here, which shows a couple different printing techniques and textures. So I'll throw that on. And then apparently there's also a pair of socks in here too. Let's see it. Zellerfeld socks. Very cool. Okay, let's get into these shoes themselves. I'm so excited for this. I literally have been waiting for this for weeks. This is probably the most excited I've been about a pair of shoes. I mean, in months, honestly, it's, it's crazy. So let's pop the top of this box. Inside the box, we've got the shoes. They're wrapped up. Let's pop the first one. Ooh, a lot softer than I expected. Look at this. This is absolutely insane. Look at that. The Zellerfeld Heron Preston 01, or the Heron 01 is the official name of this shoe. It's so much softer than I expected. I've 3D printed a lot of shoes, but um, never with this sort of texture or density or I guess elasticity. It's interesting because the upper of the shoe is super, super soft and then the midsole of the shoe is actually stiffer, which is really great because it allows you to have a lot more structure in the bottom of the shoe. And now that I'm feeling the inside of the shoe, the built-in insole, there's actually a built-in insole in there, is super, super soft. This is seriously one of the most insane pairs of shoes I've ever seen. I, I can't even believe that this is real. This is a future of 3D printing, man. This is why I'm so excited about it. It's crazy. Now, I totally understand that for some of you, the aesthetics of this particular pair of shoes might not be it. You guys might not like the color or the shape or the texture, but that's something that can all change. The actual technology behind this pair of shoes is what's really special. I mean, obviously the design itself, in my opinion, is really cool and different. And there's a lot of techniques and textures that aren't possible without using 3D printing. So I think that's one of the reasons why this shoe is so exciting. But again, I do understand if you don't love the look of this shoe, it definitely has sort of a crocodile feel to it, which I kind of dig, but uh, I get it if you don't. That being said, don't write off shoes like this just because of how it looks, because in the future, you could probably design your own pair of shoes and either send it to someone like Zellerfeld to custom make for you, or even print on your own home 3D printer. And the fact that we're getting shoes like this from real brands like Heron Preston and Asics and Adidas and people like that, means that this is something that's a lot closer than it is farther away, which I think is super, super cool. But with all that being said, why don't we try these guys on and find out whether these are actually comfortable? Because I genuinely don't know. I'm assuming that they are, but let's find out. All right, so I've got my Apothecary mid socks with the reflective logo for this uh, special try-on of a pair of fully 3D printed pair of shoes. Probably one of the craziest pairs of 3D printed shoes I've ever tried on. There was obviously those Asics from a couple weeks ago and some of the shoes that I've designed, but this is the first one that's like an actual shoe that's 3D printed by like a legit company. Um, and I'm stoked. Here we go. Here's the moment of truth. Fits perfect, which is cool because I didn't, I don't know if I gave them my size. I think I just actually scanned my feet, which is kind of crazy. It actually fits perfect. Wow. Now again, I totally understand if people aren't like a huge fan of the aesthetic, but the aesthetic is not really the point of this video. The point of this video is more the, uh, I guess just the shoe itself and how it feels. And I've got to say, I'm impressed. Feels good underfoot. Got some nice springiness and cushion underneath the, uh, or I guess in the midsole feels really nice. Obviously the upper is super soft, super stretchy. And what's great is that I feel like I'm in there, like I'm locked down, which is kind of cool. I think the material itself actually has a property of being sort of like a little bit grippier, a little bit stickier. And because of that, it, it grips to my sock really, really well. What I am going to try though is trying it on without a sock just to see how that feels. But overall, really breathable from what I can tell. Yeah, really breathable. Pretty lightweight, very, very soft underfoot. That's crazy. I really like it. I also like how wide the front of the shoe is. I don't know why, but I'm just like a huge fan of wide shoes. I don't understand it. I don't get it, but I dig it. Again, apothecary.com for the apothecary mid sock with reflective logo. Okay, here we go. Obviously, I prefer the look of it with a pair of socks on, but it still fits great. Like it still fits really well and you can really feel that compression underfoot, I love that. The insole is probably my favorite part because of how soft and squishy it is. However, the upper of the shoe, the fact that it's so stretchy and allows you to really get your foot into the shoe is pretty amazing. For something that's fully 3D printed, this is probably the most comfortable fully 3D printed thing that I've ever worn. Now, it, it is getting some sock lint on it because I think this material is a little bit, like I said, a little sticky, kind of like a rubbery sandpaper. It doesn't feel like that against your foot, but in terms of a sock, it will definitely pill your socks. It's newer technology, so if that's like my biggest complaint, that's not too bad. But overall, to rate it out of 10, comfort wise, like an eight and a half, nine. Really, really happy with this. Okay, so I've been wearing the Heron 01s for a couple days now. And I've got to admit, this might be the last pair of shoes that anyone ever needs to buy. And I know that's crazy to say because, I mean, look at it, it's not something you can wear to every event. But I think the concept of having a pair of shoes that's 3D printed that can be updated or adjusted based on new designs that are out there or new, you know, footwear needs and things like that means that this shoe is not just a shoe, but it's sort of an ecosystem. Like you're buying into an ecosystem that allows you to update your footwear depending on the situation. And I've got to say that over the last couple days of wearing this shoe, 
I really love it. I think it's a really, really great shoe. Now, aesthetically, obviously it doesn't work for every situation. It's not the kind of shoe that I would wear to any sort of formal event. It's not even something that I would see myself wearing every single day, but as far as comfort goes, and as far as the overall feel of this shoe goes, I'm blown away. I mean, truly, this shoe is incredible. And what I love most about this shoe is how it's all a one-piece construction. It's all one material that's been 3D printed together as one piece, so there's no removable parts. And the fact that different parts of the shoe feel completely different than other parts of the shoe is really, really incredible to me. Like, for example, the midsole of this shoe is actually relatively stiff. It's not incredibly soft. It's probably softer than most other EVA foam midsoles out there because those are reinforced with rubber and other sorts of materials. This one has a similar sort of squishiness to it, at least from the side, but it can bend very easily. But what makes this shoe incredibly comfortable underfoot is actually this insole, which is probably a couple millimeters thick, maybe five to 10 millimeters of like super soft webbed, I guess, TPU or plastic or whatever they use to, uh, to mold this or 3D print this shoe. And that creates this incredibly soft cushion underfoot. I mean, it really feels very, very soft underfoot. Maybe not as soft as something like Boost or Nike React or something like that, but softer than most shoes that are out there in the market. And also something I noticed is that when you put this shoe on, not only is it cushioned underneath your foot, but it bends to follow your foot whenever your foot moves, which honestly is pretty wild. Like it reminds me of those, um, those toe shoes that, uh, that are kind of like gloves on top of your feet. It's a similar sort of, I guess, movement to those shoes, except it's an actual shoe. It's not like this weird looking toe shoe thing that people love to go running in for some reason. I haven't run in this shoe. I don't know how it would do for a run, but as far as actually just wearing this shoe, I think it's incredible. But getting back to what I was saying, even though the shoe is all the same material and all one piece, different parts of it feel different from other parts of it. For example, like I said before, the midsole is pretty stiff, but then you move up to the upper of the shoe, at least in the forefoot of the sneaker, and it almost feels like a knit. Like it truly feels like an incredibly soft, flexible knit material that's very breathable, but it also does provide some structure, which is awesome and something that a knit can't always do. And then as you move farther back in the shoe towards the heel, you get this incredibly soft, pillowy area that, I mean, feels super, super plush and super squishy and it's something that I didn't expect at all. And because of the shape of it, it locks down your foot really, really well, but it doesn't feel like it's this hard material banging up against your heel. It's like a soft cushion that you can kind of lean into. It's a really, really incredible experience and one that uh, I was completely blown away by. I've tried a lot of 3D printed shoes, but none have felt as well-rounded and as finished as this pair of shoes. Like this genuinely could be a shoe that, you know, if you like the style of it, could be something you could wear every single day for years. And then as that video said, you can actually return it, they recycle the materials and print you out a brand new one, which is super, super cool. I love the concept behind this shoe. And uh, I think it's an incredible piece of technology. I mean, I think this is truly, could be the future of footwear. Realistically, like it really does create a bunch of new possibilities. And while I don't think this is going to end leather footwear and the normal kinds of footwear that we're all used to, I think it is a cool alternative. And I think it's something that uh, will give a lot of people, you know, a chance to design their own footwear that wouldn't have had the opportunity to do so before. And I think that's probably the most exciting part of the whole process. So if you have a chance to try this pair of shoes, I would say go for it. It is expensive, 350 bucks is not cheap. They did just drop, I think, a new model. It's a different collaboration. I don't remember who it was with, but I think it's a little bit cheaper, like maybe 250 or 299 compared to 350. Again, not cheap, but at the same time, uh, I think in my opinion, it's worth it, especially if you're sort of an early adopter and you like newer technology. But this is truly the first pair of shoes that's 3D printed that I could genuinely see myself wearing on a daily basis or close to a daily basis. And uh, I think it's incredible. Print this out in black and I'll wear it every day. But at this point, I would love to know your thoughts on the Heron Preston Heron 01 in collaboration with Zellerfeld and whether this is a shoe that you would like to try or whether you're just excited about the future of 3D printed footwear in general so make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and with all that said i'll see you all in the next one